Hey, welcome to Hyderabad Academy. On today's topic, we will be um, looking into equations in economics. We have equations in economics. Um, it's very, very easy. Um, it's where you have economics equations. You will give the equations in economics and allow, um, you will be allowed to analyze them. First of all, an example you look at is um, you have an example where you have y is equal to minus 5 plus 2x. And also, you have another y equal to 30 minus 3x. Good. You have an equation like that. Now we are trying to plot uh, this on a graph. That is the first thing. And then the first and the second is at what point in graph do they cross? In which point do they cross? What is their point of equilibrium? And then the third one will be you look at is um, what is the value of the x and the y? In an expression for what is the value of x and y. So good. First of all, we are trying to plot this in the uh, graph. In the earlier in the earlier tutorials, I told you how to plot um, something on a graph. We are giving only this how to plot the graph. It's very easy. Um, draw your your, your your this line like that. You have um, your y, um, you have your x, and you have your y. Here is your equation. Here this equation. You are assuming that um, this y equals to minus five plus two x. Assume where is when is zero, when is ten, and when is twenty. Right? Good. Now. Now uh, here you have that Okay, now you have this equation Now you are going to assume your numbers By assuming that you say this is 0, this is 5 and this is 10 You can stop at any point you like but um, the minimum should be um, at 10 Good Now if you put 0 in this equation, it will be what? 5 plus 2 bracket open, what? You plot this 0 there, you have 0. Now you have what? Minus 5 plus 2 times 0, 0. Minus 5 plus 0 is known as minus 5. That is, you put the minus 5 here, directly. That is where you put the minus 5 at. Good. Now you go to, uh, when is 5? You said y is equal to minus 5 plus 2 bracket open. Anywhere you see that you put that 5. You said 5. Now you said minus 5 plus 2 times 5 is 10. Is it? Now, minus and plus, we said subtract and we get the other bigger number. We subtract and we have what? Positive 5. We have what? Positive 5. Now you put here what? Positive 5. You see, now you also go and, um, and say when is what? Is 10. Now you say when is 10, what, what will you be? When this one becomes 10 now? Is it minus 5 will be 10 plus 2 times 10 is what? Is 20. Minus 5 plus 20, minus and plus, subtract and we get this other number. What is the bigger number? Is 20. So when you subtract, is, is what? Is 15. 20 minus 5 is 15. The bigger number is 15. Now it's 15. You put it out. 15. That is only for this equation, which is this. Directly. Now from there also, we go for the other one. Whereas we have um, y is equal to 30 minus 3x. Good. Now we have that. You also need to find uh, this one before you plot them in the graph. What, what are the numbers equation for? You also assume the numbers. You said, I assume the numbers. If I have x and I have y, if my x are 0, 5, 10. Here, you need, you need to be consistent here because here you are using 0, 5, 10. So always use 0, so always use 0, 5, 10 in your equation because there are two equations that are attacked together. Now here, here, you should only say y equals 30 minus 3x. Any you see actually put down 0, you said 0. This is 30 minus 3 times 0 is 0. 30 minus 0 is known as 30. You have here 30. Is that clear? You move again, when is 5? You said y equals 30 minus 3. Bracket of any you we see x, we put down 5. Good. So we said 30 minus 3 times 5, 15. 30 minus 15 is 15. So you put here 15. From there also, you go where is 10? Where is 10? Here will be 10. Anywhere we see x, we put here 10. 30 will bring it because it's got it. Minus sign. 3 times 10, 30. 30 minus 30 is 0. So here we are. That is 0 directly. Now, we have your two equations. Your x values are here and these are your y values. 
This is the way for the other question, this is the way for the question. Now you need to plot them in a graph and see the point where they cross. The question is not going to be told you the point where they cross is the point of um, the equilibrium. This is a very important point. So we plot this on a graph. Let's plot this on a graph. We, we draw our graph uh, by using the axis. We said this is our graph. Good. This is um, our x axis. This is our y axis. Good. Our x is moving at a value of 0, 5, 10. So we can still use that. We said here, here will be 1, here will be 0, here will be 5, here will be 10, here will be 15. Good. Now, our y are moving at a value of what? This is um, minus 5, minus 10. Now we are going to use minus 5 and go. We said here is what? Minus 5, minus will be down. Positive our down. Here also, the x axis is minus will be on the other side. Minus 5. So here we said minus 5, right? So here we are for, um, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then we have what? 30. Let's extend this a bit. We have 30. So this is our one. We have 30. The down ones are the minus side, the up ones are the uh, positive side. So here is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Good. Now, in the first one, we say when x is 0, y is what? Minus 5. When x is 0, y is minus 5. It will be there. That is the point. When x is 5, y is 5. When x is 5, y is 5. That point, where is That point. When x is 10, y is 15. When x is 10, y is 15. 15 is around here. See that? Good. That is for that one. Now you, you rule that one. Now rule that one. You rule your line on that. This one is called, this graph is called what? y equals to minus 5 plus 2x. y equals to minus 5 plus 2x. Please um, don't forget to name your graph. It's very, very important. Because or else you don't do the graph. Uh, don't mind where my graphs are, but if you put um, them in the book, it has to be as clear as you want it. Especially for the graph sheet, actually. Good. Now, uh, we go to the second one. We said when x is 0, y is 30. When x is 0, y is 30. 30 is around here, directly. It's around here. Good. When x is 5, y is 15. When x is 5, y is here. 15. 15 is here. Here. Leave it here. See that? When x is 10, y is 0. When x is 10, y is 0. So it will be here. Good. Now, we have to draw this from here. And check it down. Good. You have to write graph that directly. So here also, you name this graph. What is the name of this graph? The name of this graph is called what? Is this? Y equal to. 30 minus 3x. That is the name of that graph. Now, here, you have the point where they cross is here. Good. It's um, basically around 7, around 8 here. Around 8, and here is around, uh, around 9. So they cross on um, where x where x is 8 and then y is mm, basically 9. So this is a point where they cross. So you need to know the point where they cross, but if you do it on, on, on your book, you will know actually the point where they cross. Especially on a, uh, on, a, on a graph sheet, it will be perfect as you want it. Okay? So um, another one also, after knowing this, this um, we are also told to uh, equate the two um, equations, to know the values of y and x. We have the same thing, we said to know the value of x and y, because you are trying to find the value of x and y in these two equations. What do you do? You have to equate them. These are equations, this is the equation of 2. It uses the minus 5 plus 2x equals 30 minus 3x. You have to ignore the y on both sides and equate this. When you have the x, um, the value of the x, you put not, um, the value of x on either, either of them, the answers will be directly the same. Absolutely the same. Now here, we said, here is minus y constant. This is a, a variable of x. This is what, um, a constant. This is a variable x. What do you do? You transpose this to the other side and transpose the other, other side. So um, you can transpose this here. You, you said um, here, this will, this will go, when this goes, 2x will be here. 2x will be here. You have 30 minus 3x. When this comes here, it will be positive. 5. Right? 
But here also, there's a value here, x, and then there's the x on the side. So you have to bring the x on the other side also. So you say 2x. This is minus. When you cross the sign, it will change to plus. Plus 3x. Equal to 30 plus 5. Good. Now you can do the max. This is 2. This is 2 directly. This is 2. This is 3. So there are all x, x. So you said 2 plus 3, which is what? 5x. Here, 30 plus 5 is what? 35. So now x, what do you do? You divide both sides by what? 5. So that x will stand alone. Divide both sides by 5. Divide both sides by 5. Therefore, x has only stand alone. Now, this will cancel this directly. This will cancel this. It's out. 35 divided by 5 is what is 7. Because that, um, 5 divided 35 is 7 times. So that's why the answer is 7. Therefore, you have your x is 7. Plus your x in, 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 in the equation, you have the answer of y directly. So how do we do that? We still move on. We said uh, we can do that by... Now we have our x here. Our x is 7. Now to know our y, we plot them in any of the equation and then we have the answer directly. And any of the equation you plot, your answer must be the same. To prove that we see that today, we said uh, we plot it in, in the first y, the first equation. y is equal to what? Minus 5 plus 2x. What is our x? Do we know x? Yes, x is here 7. We said minus 5 you maintain plus 2 bracket of 7. So you maintain the minus 5 plus 2 times 7 is 14. Good. Now here you have minus and plus. Whenever the signs are different, subtract, but also maintain the sign of the bigger number. What is the bigger number? It is 5 for 14. The bigger number is 14. So the sign any sign you have is also positive because the bigger sign is 14. So when you subtract it, um, uh, 5 minus 14 is how much? We said we have um, 9. Um, right? We have 9. So the answer will be directly 9. Because 9 plus 5 is equal to 14 directly. So therefore, y is positive 9. So that is on the first equation. Let's check the second equation also. The second equation, we have y is equal to 30 minus 3x. 30 minus 3. What is x? x is here. 7, put 7 there and see. 7 equals 30 minus 3 times 7 is what? Is 21. 7, 14, 21. You have what? 21. 30 minus 21 is what? 9. You still have 9. So therefore, the y is 9. So your y, uh, your x is 7 and while your y is 9. So that is as easy as this is as far as you are given to equation. To plot them in a graph and look at the point where um, they have crossed the point of equilibrium and also find that um, a given equation of both the x and the y. This is how you do it. You see how easy it is. Um, this is the way you do this. Thank you for watching. Um, see you in my next video.